This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. The Indianapolis Archdiocese has issued new guidelines that allow Catholic schools in Indy to deny enrollment to transgender students. It says children who do not identify as the gender assigned to them at birth could be denied enrollment. The diocese covers 39 counties in central and southern Indiana. Decisions would be made on a case by case basis according to the guidelines. And the policy notes that students can be admitted if they follow church teachings. State Senate candidate Belinda Drake, who is part of the LGBT BTQ community is calling for added protections for state civil rights legislation. Our educational system is, is supposed to be welcoming, it's supposed to be inclusive, it's supposed to provide everyone access. And it was just heartbreaking to see that um, our most vulnerable, our children, um, now have to, to battle this. The Archdiocese of Indianapolis released a statement saying in part, quote, some students who attend the Archdiocese schools question their sexual identity and we recognize that their struggles have a profound effect on their lives. The Archdiocese goal is to always walk in accompaniment with young people and their families, end quote. And you can read the full statement on our website right now, theindychannel.com. Happening today, a special blood drive is paying tribute to our local health care workers. The Indiana 4-H Foundation and Varsity Blood Center are hosting the Healthcare Heroes Blood Drive. This runs from 10 this morning to 6 this evening at the 4-H Exhibit Hall at the Indiana State Fairgrounds. Donors are encouraged to bring a thank you letter or a card as a token of appreciation for our local health care heroes. Cards and letters will be given to hospitals and donors will be pre-screened before their donation. All donors are asked to wear their own face covering during their appointment. It is time now for a check of today's forecast, so for that let's go over to Todd Clausen. Hey TK. Yeah, good morning, Lauren. It's going to be a good day today with lots of sunshine, low humidity and high temperatures. It'll be topping off in the low to mid 80s across the area. We'll have that bright blue sky. Just a real small chance of a stray shower as we work our way into the evening hours. Tomorrow, the heat starts to build as highs will be close to 90 degrees across the area. Still mainly dry tomorrow. Again, tomorrow afternoon, the chance of a spot storm in the forecast, but the better storm chances will arrive in the forecast over the weekend. And with the added rain and cloud cover, the temperature's a little bit cooler, but it's super muggy Saturday and Sunday. Then as we work our way into the middle of next week, we'll keep the daily chance of storms in the forecast, with most of those being during the peak heating of the day. Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather you need to know, just download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.